Okay, so I just thought I would record myself going through surface area to volume ratio and how it affects the rate of diffusion because you all seemed a little bit confused with how this works and the concept behind it. Okay, so remember that surface area is um, a measure of how many surfaces something has, okay, how big that area is, but volume is how much room there is in there. So for example, if we're talking about an, a cube, surface area is obviously the area of one side, okay, total surface area would be multiplied by the number of sides. So for example, here I have one centimeter long cube, okay, which I've represented here with two different cubes of agar, Okay, so I have my surface area here would be one times one, okay, okay, which equals one, okay, and then I multiply that by six because a cube has got six sides and therefore my total surface area is six centimeters squared, okay. The volume of my cube, okay, so how much space there is, okay, inside that cube, okay, is my volume. And that one I do one times one times one, which equals one, one centimeters cubed. So if I'm working this out as a surface area to volume ratio, okay, like that, I want to do it or express it as six to one, because that's my number here, to one, okay? So I've surface area to volume ratio of six to one. Now, if I have a cube, okay, that is two centimeters long, okay, my surface area is going to be two times two, which is four, and I'm gonna multiply that by six because I've got a cube again, and that equals 24 centimeters squared, okay? The volume of my cube, again, how much space there is inside that cube, okay, is two times two times two, Okay, and that is eight centimeters cubed. Now, again, if I express that as a ratio of surface area to volume ratio, I will do that as 24 to eight. If I divide that by the other to get it expressed as something to one, okay, I get three to one. If I divide 24 by eight, I get three. Okay, this is smaller than this one. Okay. So in essence, I should see that diffusion happens faster in this okay, cube with the larger surface area to volume ratio than this one. The whole point behind that is the fact that because my volume is a me measure of how much space there is in there, okay, compared to how many access points my molecules have to get in, okay, it's going to happen faster here. All right. It's going to happen more slowly here because I don't have as many surfaces compared to how big okay, my cube is here to allow diffusion to happen faster. So in a smaller surface area to volume ratio, it's going to take longer for my diffusion to happen compared to a larger surface area to volume ratio. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate that with these two cubes. Now, these cubes of agar have been, I'm just going to move this out of the way so you can see this, have been, um, oh, they're made of phenolphthalein. Now, phenolphthalein is an indicator you've used in chemistry before, okay? Um, and I am going to add each cube, okay, to um, a, a boiling tube full of hydrochloric acid. So it is 0.5 molar hydrochloric acid, okay? And I'm going to time how long it takes for my cube of phenolphthalein indicator um, agar to become colourless. Okay, so let's try it with the big cuboid first. If I can actually get it in. So I'm going to pop it in, start the timer. She says, can't start the timer. There you go. Pop my bung in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it. So that I'm constantly moving my hydrochloric acid in the agar, give it time for it to diffuse in. So we'll see how long this takes. Just checking that my bung's in properly, it's not. 
So remember, phenolphthalein is an indicator okay, that turns colourless in the presence of acid. Okay, so my acid is going to diffuse into my agar okay, and it's going to turn it colourless okay, or as colourless as it can get. You can already see okay, that beginning to happen. The cuboid shape is getting smaller and smaller. Okay, the pink cuboid. So you can see here that there is already okay, some diffusion of my hydrochloric acid in. Okay, That's at two minutes. So I'm going to stop it here to see whether or not, just otherwise this video is going to go on for, forever. Okay, I'm going to take out my large cuboid. Now we're going to try the smaller cuboid. Start my timer and we'll see how long or how much diffusion occurs in that cube in the same two minutes, okay? So I'm going to roll it. This just means constant movement. Um, of my liquid so it aids diffusion so it's already gone a little bit faster we're 40 seconds in okay and what we can do is we can then measure to actually calculate it we can measure how big the size of the plain square is and therefore calculate the rate of diffusion if we do distance divided by time okay so we're going to stop this in 45 seconds wouldn't it be ironic if they're both at the same rate Okay, so I'm going to stop this now. It's going to be a bit harder to get this one out. It's gone a bit further down. But those are my cubes. Now, obviously, one started smaller. Okay, but what we're going to do is we are going to calculate the rate.
So we are going to calculate, so the time, okay, let's bring these back so you can see that here. Let me just mop up some of this hydrochloric acid. Okay, so for cube one, which is the small one, we are going to do the distance of the clear area in mils. Okay, divided by the time in seconds, which was 120, because we'd stopped it at two minutes, okay? So, bear with me a second, because I need to get quite close to this. So we've got four millimeters in 120 seconds, okay? So, Sorry, I'm just going to write that a little bit better, a bit easier. 4 over 120 equals as a rate, okay, okay we've got 0 0.033. Okay millimeters per second okay that's the rate of diffusion in that cube in this cube I'm just sorry I'm just gonna have to move it over here in the bigger cube we have three so not not that much in it but then it's a cuboid because we're only um, one centimeter high divided by 120 for me 0.025 millimeters per second so you can see that the smaller cube okay which has a higher surface area to volume ratio okay has the faster rate of diffusion from my little cuboids okay so that is surface area to volume ratio.